In this tutorial, we will discuss the installation and use of the T30 Fruit Tree Kit. This will only apply to the Agris T30 drone, since only this model supports branch targeting technology. Before installation, please prepare the following tools. One, remove the water pipes of the spray boom on arms number one and number four. Loosen the water pipe nut with the double end nut wrench above the spray boom T-joint and disconnect the water pipe. Two, disassemble the fixing structure of the spray booms on arms number one and number four. Push the spray boom in one direction, front, back, left, or right by hand, and then pull the spray boom downwards to take it out. Note, if you don't push the spray boom to an inclined position, it will be more difficult to pull it downwards. Three, disconnect the solenoid valve connecting wires of arms number one and number four. Take out the solenoid valve wire from inside the carbon tube. Disconnect the connector and put the remaining wires back into the carbon tube. Note, after removing the original spray booms on arms number one and number four, Please store them properly after cleaning and drying them. 4. Fold arms number 1 and number 4 and then remove the handle pin. Loosen the handle pin with the H3 Allen screwdriver and then remove the pin and nut. Note, after removing the handle pin, do not allow the handle to rotate around the hexagonal connecting rod, otherwise the buckle will become loose or too tight. 5. Adjust the tightness of the handle. If the handle is too loose or too tight after installation, you need to rotate the handle around the hexagonal connecting rod to adjust tightness. No, normally it's not necessary to adjust the tightness of the handle. After removing the handle pin, do not allow the handle to rotate around the hexagonal connecting rod. Otherwise, the buckle will become loose or too tight. 6. Remove the plugs on arms number 1 and number 4 of the fruit tree drone. Removing the four fixing screws of the plug with the H3 Allen screwdriver, and then remove the plug. Note: When you need to perform operations on a crop field, apply glue to the screws before installing the plug to prevent the screws from loosening. 1. Reinstall the handles and pins of arms number 1 and number 4. Lift the handle, align it with the mounting hole on the arm base, install the pin, and tighten the screws with the H3 Allen screwdriver. Note, before tightening the screws, check whether the arm buckle can be properly locked. 2. Install spray booms on arms number 1 and number 4 of the fruit tree drone. Unfold the spray booms of the fruit tree drone and fix the spray booms at about 5 mm from the arm carbon tube ESC. Tighten the two M3 screws of the spray boom holder with the H2.5 Allen screwdriver. Note, 1. Be sure to keep the spray bar vertical, otherwise the spraying performance will be impacted. 2. When installing the fruit tree spray boom, its water pipe T should be closed to the side of the drone body. 3. In future models, positioning devices will be added to the spray boom holder and the arm to prevent incorrect installation. 3. Connect the water pipes of arms number 1 and number 4. Connect the original water pipes of arms number 1 and number 4 to the T-joint of the fruit tree spray boom and then tighten the nuts with the double end nut tightening wrench. The position of the water pipe clamp on the arm can be adjusted appropriately to ensure that the water pipe is unobstructed and not twisted. Note: The original water pipe does not need to be cut or extended. 4. Replace the nozzles on arms number 2, number 3, number 5, and number 6. The nozzles used on the fruit tree drone are TX VK4 nozzles. So the eight nozzles of the remaining four arms also need to be replaced. Clean and dry the removed nozzles and nozzle locating rings and store them properly. 1. Turn on the remote control and power on the drone. 
in the remote control app, set the model to Orchard. In the app, tap Settings, then Flight Control Settings, then Advanced Settings, and set the model to Orchard. Two, check the following items after installation. Check that the buckles on arms number one and number four can be locked smoothly and are not too loose or too tight. The fruit tree spray booms need to be kept unfolded before operation. Confirm that the correct nozzles are installed. Check that the spray booms can be folded smoothly. Three, take care to protect the accessories of the fruit tree spray booms. Take care not to damage the spray booms when folding. The fruit tree spray booms must be folded before folding the arms.